Hello everyone. Today we're going to publish a static website from EasyData. Throughout this tutorial, we're going to rely on four tools, EasyData, Docusaurus, GitHub, and Netlify. If you're already familiar with each of these tools, then you can jump ahead to this part of the video, but I wanted to take a moment and provide an overview of each tool and describe how it fits into this publishing process. The first tool is EasyData, a component content management system. EasyData is where you create, manage, and deploy your content. Now, EasyData keeps content separate from the formatting and design. And that means that when you create content, you can use it for a website, but you can also publish it to all of your other channels at the same time without having to rewrite anything. Next up is Docusaurus. Simply put, Docusaurus is a static website generator. We use Docusaurus to take the content from EasyData and design templates from GitHub and publish them together as HTML files for your website. The third tool that we're going to use is GitHub. GitHub is a code hosting platform. Now, like I mentioned just a moment ago, for our purposes today, GitHub is going to be the location online for our template designs. Okay, so we have EasyData for content, GitHub for design, Docusaurus for combining the content and the design into HTML. The last piece of the puzzle is a way to host your website. One option is to use a local host for testing, but today we're going to be hosting online using a tool called Netlify. Netlify is a lightning fast hosting service. Okay, so now that we know the tools that are going to be used, I'm going to outline the agenda for this video. First of all, we're going to need to create an account with Netlify and generate an API token. Then we'll create a publishing environment within EasyData. Then we'll create a new publishing scenario. Next, we'll publish and take a look at our content on Netlify. After that, we'll run a website test. And finally, I'll show you how to make edits to the styling of the website within GitHub. Now, I know that sounds like a lot, but I'll be sure to walk you through the entire process. And by the end of this video, you'll have a pretty awesome looking documentation website that's ready to go. So let's get started. Now, the first thing we need to do is create an account with Netlify. Once you have your account created, you'll need something called an API token. With this token, you can deploy your content to Netlify from within EasyData without downloading or uploading any files. So to do this, you click on the avatar in the top right corner, select User Settings. On the left side, select Applications. Now look for Personal Access Tokens. Select New Access Token. Write your description. Select Generate. Now we're going to leave this tab open as we'll need to come back and grab the string of characters in just a moment. But now we're going to go over to EasyData and create an environment. This environment facilitates the connection between EasyData and Netlify via that API token we just generated. So first you'll need to log in to your EasyData account. And as always, we'll start in the dashboard view. Now on the left side, under the Administration tab, click on Publishing Configuration. In the top right corner, select Add New Environment. Add a name and then create. Now we're going to go back to our tab with Netlify and copy the string of characters. Paste those characters under value. All right, now it is time to create a publishing scenario. To do this, go to the administration tab again and click on Docusaurus. Here is where our scenarios will be stored. On the top right, select New Scenario. Within this new scenario, we can connect the environment that we just created, as well as add our design templates. So let's start with the name. This is how we'll identify the scenario when we publish our content in the future. Now select Enable Deployment to Netlify, and then select our environment that we just created. Now you'll see here that Easy Data comes standard with a handful of design templates. Later in this video, we'll talk about editing and adding designs, but for now, we're just going to leave the current templates. Now select Create, and it's time to publish our content. 
If you already have content that's written and assembled within EasyData, then you can use that. But if you do not yet have content in EasyData, you can either write your content with the editor, or you can upload a Microsoft docx file and use our Word to Data converter. This converter will turn your long document into a series of data topics, which are also assembled into a map and ready to publish. To learn more about those options, we have video tutorials about how to do both. Just visit easydata.com slash video hyphen tutorials. Now we'll want to navigate to the map that we're going to publish. So to do that, go to the author tab. Now I'm going to be using this Thunderbird user guide today. So I'll open the map and in the top right hand corner, select publish. Now on the left side of this pop-up, we'll need to find the scenario that we just created earlier. Select it, enter your description, and make sure to tick this Deploy to Netlify box. Now select which URL you want to publish to. If you don't pick one, it'll automatically use the last one that you used, or if this is your first time, it'll automatically generate a new URL within Netlify. If you have a custom domain, then you can make that change later within Netlify. Now select your design template. Okay, and a DitaVal is simply a file that filters your content based on your audience. This is an incredibly powerful tool and you can learn more about it at easydita.com slash video hyphen tutorials. And there you'll find a video that's titled filter content. But for today, we will not be using this. Finally, if you've translated your content, you can also select that here under locales. Okay, we are ready to publish. Now this site will take a few minutes to publish. So I'm gonna start a timer. And there we go. In this case, it took just over 90 seconds to publish. Now that it's complete, you can click on the job right here and open this URL and it'll open your new site. If your site doesn't load at first, just give it a couple seconds and refresh the page. You can also access this new site through Netlify. And here we go, a fully functioning static website. You'll notice that the structure along the left side is based on the structure within your data map. The hierarchy will be mirrored between your content and your website. Additionally, this static site also comes with a night mode toggle on the right side. And of course, being a static website, the load times are virtually non-existent. But just to check, let's pull up GT metrics and see how fast this website really is. I'm just gonna copy the URL and go to gtmetrics.com and let's find out. And look at that, nearly a perfect score for speed. The entire website loaded in just one second. And since it's a static website, no more loading is needed for any of the other pages within the website. If you have easy data, you can turn your content into a ridiculously fast website in just a few minutes without paying for any other tools. Now, like I mentioned earlier, if you want to change the domain or use a custom one that you already own, you can do so within Netlify. Now you might be wondering how much you can change as far as the styling goes. And the answer is really up to you. Easy Data includes a few base templates, and these are extremely pragmatic. They're intended to prioritize speed and ease of use, but at some point you'll want to make some changes. For example, this logo that's shown in the top left corner, you'll probably want to change this to your own company's logo. Now, like I said, the design templates are stored in GitHub, the fastest way to make a change will be to create an account there. And once you have an account, go back to the DocuSaurus scenario and find the URL for the template that you wish to modify. All right, you can copy this and now paste it into your browser. This URL will bring you to the template design. While you can't edit this template directly, what you can do is fork this template by clicking this fork button in the top right corner. You can think of a fork as cloning the repository to your own GitHub. 
That way you can make the changes without impacting the original template. You can rename this repository by selecting Settings and then typing in the new name. It's important to note that updating the name of your repository will also impact the URL. Now that we have our own copy of the template to start with, let's navigate within the folder structure to Static, IMG, and here we see there's a file named logo.svg. What we want to do is remove the existing logo and replace it with our own logo while keeping the same file name. So I already created our Thunderbird logo as an SVG file. So let's delete our little dinosaur friend here, and we'll commit that change. Then we upload our new file, and we commit that change. Now that we've done this, we need to create a new template within EasyDita. So first, we'll navigate back to the top of the folder structure in GitHub. Now, click on Code, and this pop-up will appear that shows the URL for our design. Copy this URL, and return to EasyDita, and select DocuSource from the Administration tab once again. Now we'll open our scenario and select New Template add a name, and paste the GitHub URL here. OK, and our new template is ready to go. So to test it out, we're going to return to the content, open our map, click Publish, and make sure to pick our new template and publish. Once that's complete, it'll automatically update our Netlify site. And there we go. Our new logo is right here. Now, if you want to do more design modification on the site, the entire design template is built with CSS and JavaScript. You can make changes to colors, fonts, padding, widths, all of that with just a little knowledge of basic design language. If you're uncomfortable with this, there's likely someone within your company who has experience with CSS and JavaScript. And now you know how, in just a few minutes, you can turn your easy data content into a fast, clean, modern documentation site ready to deploy. To learn more about EasyDita and Docusaurus, you can visit easydita.com slash docusaurus or find more tutorials at easydita.com slash video hyphen tutorials.